But uh, now from screams to laughter, Northwest comedian Dave Spike is well known for playing cabaret star Jerry St. Clair alongside Peter Kay in Phoenix Nights, but he's now gone back to his comedy roots to stand up. Yes, he's on his best medicine tour, uh, and this latest dose is a repeat prescription uh, because he was on a similar tour last year too. In fact, this is a continuation of the tour, is it not? You were on 2008, then you did the spring section, That's now right, it's the yeah. autumn section. I just didn't want to mislead people into thinking it was a brand new show. So, although it has evolved over the years, there's about 50% new material, I wouldn't want people to come and be shortchanged and, and say, oh, I've seen some of that before. So, but, you're going to different venues? Well, completely present. different venues than I did the first time. But can I just pick up on your screen? You jumped out of an aeroplane. Yes, did, yeah, yeah. Did. I've done that. Have you? That is, that's scary enough in itself. But you know when you have the instructions in the barn or whatever it is before? Oh, yes, yeah. in the hangar, yeah. And he says, you'll jump out, your parachute will open, no problem with did that. Did you do it? Was it a tandem one you did? No, no, on my own. On your own? Yeah. No, you see, I couldn't do that. But get this, this is what worried me, because I jumped out, and he, uh, he said, when you jump out, the parachute will open automatically. And he questions, and I went, well, yeah. <laughs> what if it doesn't, obviously? <laughs> and he said, oh, well, you've got a reserve chute on there. You wouldn't do that. And you deploy that, and you that will do open. That in mid -air. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, well, what if that doesn't open? And he said, oh, that one always opens. So I said, well, why don't you put it on first? That one. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! But you, like you, I mean, laughter. So you've said is is the best medicine, isn't well, it? It does. And you say it burns off calories. Two hundred calories. Two hundred calories in an hour. Really? And I do two hours on stage, so I encourage everybody in the audience to laugh consistently. It's not for me. Yeah, it's, it's just good of your health. And it's two pints of lager afterwards. We're all winners. Mm. And medicine's played a huge part. We were going to say in your in your yeah. background, well, hasn't it? Because you're a biomedical yeah. scientist, which was, sounds very grand. I was a biomedical scientist in haematology right. at the Royal Hospital. For Thirty years, yeah. So natural progression, stand up, isn't it? Dark comedy, isn't it, in hospitals? What a dark comedy. Yeah. Yeah. It's that you know you've got to laugh or you'll cry, that sort of thing. Yeah. And you know, but you know, you make sort of that you know, like incompetent staff which you get in any profession with the health service, and it's a lot of eyebrow raising as well as raising laughs, you know, and stuff like that. I was I've been admitted for a. a an investigation and this nurse I can't I think she just bought the uniform I don't know why and she said to me have you got any allergies I said yeah penicillin she went well that's a good one that's a good one <laughs> I'm glad you're pleased she <laughs> said anything else I said well I don't know I don't know if it's worth mentioning but I'll mention it anyway I'm very allergic to wasps and she went do you mean when they sting you oh um. and I went no when I stroke them I come out in a rash <laughs> What else could it possibly be, you know? So I've been a patient, I've seen it from that side, I've worked there, so there's about 20 minutes, half an hour stories of that and the best medicine. School. And you put your medical background to great use. Let's just have a look at this. Oh, you've got, what have you got? Yeah, there you are. No. You winning Celebrity Mastermind. With the, with the most points ever in the show, is that right? I believe so, yeah, 30 odd, I can't remember minute, And your specialist it? subject was? Human blood. I wanted to do the red blood cell because it's a very interesting and very intricate little cell, as I'm sure you know. But, um, <laughs> but I said I wanted to do the red blood cell, and the producer said, no, it's too narrow. I went, narrow? <laughs> it's just <laughs> microscopic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I did human blood and set myself up for a fall, really, because it's well, a very complex organ. Brilliantly well, well. I also know in your stand-up act that um, you do headlines, and you use me in it because I've been in an audience listening to you and almost curled up. I did, you know, and, well, I use headlines, but little clips from local news as well, because you actually once said on this very show, the, the, re, uh, the applications for the Manchester Marathon, or whatever it was, half marathon, are still open. If you want to enter, you better get your skates on. That's what you said. That is true. <laughs> yeah, I'm that's, sure that's not that. allowed. That's, that's one of his worst ones, you know that. I know, but I use headlines because you see some brilliant headlines. There was one at Bank Holiday Weekend in, in one of the local papers, and it had that, because it was Bank Holiday, they had some old people at a craft fair, a picture of them, and the headline was, Pensioners make lovely rugs. <laughs> and you, you know what they mean, but yes. that's a nice rug, it's my granddad. <laughs> Brilliant, it's isn't funny it? that wordplay thing is, yeah. is the thing that really sparks your mind, I love isn't it. it? And I love overhearing conversations and what people say because people are so stupid with, and speak without thinking. Can I just tell you, there's two girls on Charlie Market, I swear, and one says to the other, Has your Dorian had the baby yet? I said, Yeah, I had it last week, little boy, £8.12 ounces. Oh, lovely, what's he called him? He called him Mark. Well, I like Mark, can't go wrong with Mark. She said, Yeah, but get this, they're spelling it with a C. So she went, Cark. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. It is true. <laughs> you couldn't make that up. That's great. <laughs> really? You, you love all the quirky yeah. stuff, don't oh, you? Because do, you're, yeah. you're, you're gathering a lot of this uh, material from local newspapers for a book. Uh, book but but out, also, yeah. you, you love the worst lyrics in the world, don't you? I do, yeah. The book's coming out. It's called <laughs> uh, He Took My Kidney, Then Broke My Heart, which was a real headline I saw, where she donated a kidney to her husband because he needed a transplant. When he got better, he ran off with the best friend. <laughs> Which is usually the organ they reject, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Donor. But yes, yeah, song lyrics fascinate me because we sing along to them every day and they're just rubbish. 
And the one that hooked me was Vanessa Williams singing uh, Save the Best to Last, and there's a line in it. You probably know it, and we've all probably hummed along or sung along to it. It says, sometimes the snow comes down in June, sometimes the sun goes round the moon. <laughs> yeah, it's fact, millions of miles away. Incorrect. And what law of astrophysics says, or oh, just something, I mean, again, yeah. get your P20 <laughs> on barrel, you're going to need it. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah, we're, you know. we're going to have to wrap up now because uh, Diane's waiting to do the weather. But you're on tour. You're you're all around the yeah, northwest and other places. Oldham on the first of October, Rochdale on something like the seventeenth. Well, well, winds brilliant. Then. People have a good laugh. Magic sure. Palace. I'm doing fantastic. Okay, Thank well, you so much, Dave. Yeah, really well, really brilliant. That. Hopefully, uh, Diane isn't uh, laughing now. She's going to deliver the weather. You know, we should have had more of Dave and less of me. We made you scream earlier on. Dave has made you laugh, and let's go back to the screaming with John Densham's picture of this frog crawling into his boots. On your boots is fine, but crawling into your boots is not very pleasant.